Good morning, YouTube. Red Cup of Joe. Let's go. Saturday. Oh, not too bad a morning out there. Let's see. We do 60 degrees outside. Man, 64 inside, according to the Piper Dave Weather Station. Rough night, rough day yesterday, rough night, rough morning. Couldn't sleep. morning the, the old knees were saying hey we're taking the day off so I had to put my knee braces on so I could stand up move around a little bit did too much yesterday tried tried yesterday walking around without the without the cane without the walker and apparently I did too much. So the knees are taking the day off and the one hip, the left hip, the one that was broke said, we're going to go with them. So we're walking with the walker today. The ex-wife. <laughs> Stopped by yesterday about 3.30 to help mom out with her uh, rehanging of curtains from where all the curtains were taken down and washed and all the windows were cleaned and yada, 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 yada. Took time out long enough to eat some pizza for dinner. And she was telling me about the oldest boy, Sean, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all have heard of Sean. He's the one with the broken elbow. He had to go to uh had to go to a doctor's appointment over in Beachwood, which is about half hour from here, forty five minutes from his house. For his uh Cord cordally liver scan. And I guess when he came out from his appointment, he had a flat tire. He, uh, he has no concept on how to take care of a car. Uh, so he calls his mom, says, I got a flat tire. His mom says, well, call call Bill, see if Bill can help you. Bill couldn't help him, so he calls his mom again. Says, well, call Jeff, which is Allison's uh, brother-in-law. He don't answer. <coughs> So then they called Nick. Nick managed to get out there and take a jack because Sean has no jack in his car. Don't don't know how that came about. Uh, so took a jack, went out there, put his spare on, got him on. And I looked at her and I said, you know. I got a jack, I got an impact, and I got, like, time on my hands. Why don't they call me? He goes, well, I'll do that next time. As I remember way back in the beginning when we, we were separated and going through our divorce, 
You would call me almost every other day telling me, well, they're fighting over this, they're fighting over that. What are you going to do about it? And I told us, I ain't going to do nothing about it. You let them fight it out. They'll figure it out all on their own. And, well, they did. So anyways, they got it, and of course, his tire that was flat was in such bad shape, he had to go buy a new tire, and and this is where, again, he needs somebody with more common sense. Why buy just one tire? Replace at least two, you know. If they're fronts, you put two new ones on the front. And if they're the back, you put two new ones on the back. That way, they're even. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it is. It's 8.30 in the AMM. It's been a little bit of a rough, rough, rough morning. I'm on my, I'm on my third cup. Amazon Jungle Dude showed up at seven, brought me my uh, holster for the new Ruger. Uh, Pole craft. I had an LCP before, and I thought maybe, just maybe. I saved the uh, holster for it when I sold it, moved it on to new owners. So I went through my tote of holsters and, you know, must have sold it with the holster. So I ordered another one identical to that one because it was a it fit perfect. And this one is fitting perfect. And then I went to order spare magazines. Could not figure out. You type it into the jungle website and it shows you pieces, parts, and this and that, but no, no, no magazine. So I ended up going to the uh, gunmagwarehouse.com. Y'all write that down. They have every magazine known to man I found out about the uh, gun mag warehouse when I was looking for a magazine for that uh, Western Auto Supply 22 rifle and they had it, so I ordered one. Only ordered one because I thought it was going to be going back to its original owner. But it ended up staying here. So, next payday, I'm going to order a couple more for that and a couple more for the 380 and a couple more for the other Ruger whatever 79 89 whatever model number that was like it's off the top of my head I can't remember but I ordered two magazines from the gun mag warehouse and I ordered them at like 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Mountain Ocean Time. You got an email an hour later where they shipped. They'll be here Tuesday, which is cool. I only ordered two because I I I, I have uh, two magazine belt 
holder. So I'll get that, you know, get that set up, and then we'll 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 get them all dialed in where there's multiple magazines. Ah, oh, crazy, crazy. But the holster I uh, I ordered yesterday after I got home and yeah. check the box for you know next day delivery. And then it said, well, if you add like nine ninety nine or whatever to your order, you get free shipping. So I ordered another shirt. It'll, it'll, it's on its way. It'll, the shirt will be here Tuesday. The holster showed up today, this morning, between four a.m. and eight a.m. Delivered by Mahoob. Not much going on today. At all. Mom's a... Uh, I'm hanging more, trying to hang more curtains with my uh, ex-wife yesterday and her. They didn't, they didn't, they got one window done and she was here for, yeah, she rode in about 3.30 and she left about 7. One window. What are you going to do? It's good seeing her. It's nice, nice to be able to get along with her now. You know, I am, I admit that ninety nine and three quarter percent was my fault uh, back in the beginning. So, but it's nice to be able to get along. And, Every now and again, she shows up and brings me my favorite cookie. Not too often, because she says, well, you're a diabetic. So she doesn't bring them often, but she brings them. You know, airplane idling down at the airport. Been a lot of work going on next door over there, next door over here. They're, both houses are vacant. And mom, mom sees them don't fixing up the landscaping and stuff, and she goes, "Oh, they're gonna make our house look bad." So she went next door over there because they were spreading mulch yesterday to see about getting a price on having mulch put here. I'm going to tell you right now, I hate mulch. Can't stand the smell of mulch. I'm surprised that she wants it because she smells everything. Oh, that stinks. Oh, that's but the mulch don't stink. But to me, it stinks. My previous residence, Cindy hated it, I hated it. So when the landscapers came around in the spring to fix up the yards, we told them, don't be spreading that here in our gardens. <sighs> Rough night. Had a lot. Had a lot on the old thinker.
Thinking and sleep, they don't go together. Hopefully I can grab a nap sometime today. Well, I guess I'm going to ski that on and get back to watching some new boobs. Maybe hobble out and go get some breakfast somewhere this morning. I doubt it, though, because I just don't have that ambition. Love this time of the year with the birds, the planes. Somebody getting a new roof put on yesterday. All you heard was pounding, 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 pounding. And then you heard the air gun. Oh. Well, I hope everybody's going to have a good weekend. I'm laying low unless, unless one of the knucklehead boys calls and wants to go and shoot or look at weapons. Yeah, it's going to be a crappy weekend, most likely, unless something changes. And I don't see nothing changing. Keep your eyes open out there. Not saying it's going to happen, but it could happen. It was funny. I was watching the jungle driver on the tracking. Because the delivery was between 4 and 8 a.m. And I actually thought it would I actually thought it would be here when I got up this morning, but it wasn't. So I checked. He was six stops away. And then you can you can follow the little blue dot. So I met him in the driveway. <sighs> now I know y'all are thinking, well, why is he going with such a small piece of produce? Because I like it. Had one before. And like a dummy, I sold it to move, to move on to something bigger, and now I'm going back something smaller. Very lightweight. And all it takes is one shot. So make sure you're good. No breeze out there this morning. 
Okay, I gotta go. This is I'm just I'm just rambling now, man. I'm going down all these different highways. Hard to follow along. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. You're not learning, you're being left behind. I will see y'all oh one day for the latest edition of Crack That Crap Open. I need that echo. Maybe I'll figure out how to put that echo in there. I don't know. Okay. Peace.